So Joe had this white, uh, I don't know, ceramic bowl, um, and he's had it for a while now, at least 10 years. Um, his, he got earned his undergrad in, at the University of South Florida, and I just graduated with my master's from the University of South Florida. So um, he broke out the bowl. I guess we were cleaning out the Quonset hut, and it turned up and asked to be painted. So instead of just painting it green and gold or doing a paint pour, which were a couple ideas I tossed around, I decided that I was going to um, paint it with a fancy pattern all around. Uh, at least, well, you know what? I'm going to paint the fancy pattern up here on the top, and then uh, we'll see what we do. On It might be more like an airbrush or something, the, the rest of this. So um, I just started laying down a base coat to kind of get a feel for it and connect with the piece and then I started drawing uh, the logo for the University of South Florida here and uh, probably a mistake was putting it in graphite because it's smudging all over and the white's gray but um, I'll work with it I'll ultimately um, I probably should have sprayed it or something first, but I I now I, I don't want to see the lines, so it's probably a good thing that those they're turning gray. I'll just have to put multiple coats of paint, and so for now I'm not really too too particular about staying in the lines or anything. Um, I think when I put the green down, I definitely have to, but with these lighter colors, I'll just paint over them, and uh, so I figured I want the crevices maybe to have a dark color so I put a bronze in there and I painted gold around um, wow in the camera you could really see where these are uh, not uh, where I didn't cover um, so right now um, I think he's looking pretty handsome and it's really funny how when you just paint the eyes even though they're not realistic it just helped him come to life but anyway that's it for now, and uh, I'll keep you posted on the progress. Well, I didn't take it step by step, but I wound up painting gold. It's this Liquitex here, um, iridescent bright gold acrylic paint. And there was a bronze too. I did use Payne's Gray inside the crevices and then I kind of brushed it off, but this is the bronze color of the main body. And I used um, a green. It wasn't really like, a, you know, Kelly green or whatever. It was more, oh, here it is, chromium oxide green. Um, but then what I wound up doing is taking these Posca markers and making the USF emblem and the logo, this uh, Posca green. And uh, I used a little bit of the black, but I also used uh, Payne's gray to get inside some of the crevices. And I don't think that the crevice work is all that great, but um, there's a little bit of a difference. And then I used these, these are oil pastels. And I used that for painting, uh, drawing the, the design, um, which was a little tough because it didn't come to a point. Um, but it's sticking pretty well there. Um, so you can see uh, what that looks like. And uh, it took me many hours <laughs> to do this, to figure out the design to uh, draw everything in and then paint it. And it was really helpful to have the Posca markers, especially to do, at first I did it with the brush and it was really uh, quite horrendous. And my, uh, the paint was too thick and the, I should have uh, used a medium to kind of water it down a little bit. <clears throat> and the um, uh, brushes weren't really that good. They didn't really come to a nice point because I just have junky uh, acrylic brushes. But anyway, oh, then what I did was I rubbed some cold wax on and some of the, um, here this, I used cold wax, one second, which is 
this Gamblin cold wax, and then I use this uh, Pan Pastel Ultra Soft um, in bronze and rubbed it on certain areas just to give kind of a silky effect and to cover up some of the, um, the Payne's Gray that I put inside the crevices. And yeah, so I'm really excited. I, I mean, it went from being white, really boring, to now we have a crazy new design. And then I actually did take the pan pastel and just to have, give some cohesion to the, uh, to the horns or the antlers, whatever you call it, horns. <clears throat> um, then what I did was uh, just brush some of that on there so that it wasn't so different from the uh, bronze of the of the rest of the body. Um, it looks like I have a little bit of uh, just touch up to do on some of this where it looks like some of the whites coming through. The one thing I did not do, which I should have done was uh, I did not prime it. Uh, but it's sticking on really well. And then what I want to do is I'm going to uh, put a spray fixative on. And uh, that way the design uh, will last a little bit longer. But really, uh, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I, it was really a fun project. When I get into these paintings like this and designing, it's very uh, meditative and calming for me. And I enjoy it.